What is thermal conductive polymer? An innovative heat dissipating solution. First, you may want to ask, what's it for? Nowadays, more and more products are subject to heat dissipating problems. When the original solution is not competitive enough or not able to meet the thermal requirements, a novel passive cooling solution, thermal conductive polymer, has opened the door to a new era and offers more choices to designers. With numerous pros, including a superb cooling effect and other favorable features, thermal conductive polymer has become a competitive option in various industries. Thermal conductive polymer is a kind of composite which is compounded with matrix and filler. The thermal conductivity of the product, also known as K value, can reach 1 to 6, which is 5 to 30 times the value of general plastics. Meanwhile, the emissivity can achieve more than three times the value of aluminum alloy. With the improvement of thermal conductivity, as well as outstanding emissivity, thermal conductive polymer has become the next generation design solution. Now, let's make a simulation analysis first. If we put a 10 watt heat source on different materials, what will be the difference in the heat dissipating result? Comparing the simulation results, we can find that the general plastic in the far left illustration can't help dissipate heat, while the aluminum alloy on the far right helps distribute heat evenly on its surface. On the other hand, the electrical insulative thermal conductive polymer can enhance the cooling efficiency by 50% compared to general plastics, while electrical conductive thermal conductive polymer can reach the results similar with aluminum alloy. Let's test with an LED light bulb to see if it tells the same thing with a simulation. It turns out the experiment result displays a similar trend with simulation analysis. Thermal conductive polymer reduced the LED temperature by 23 to 56 degrees Celsius compared to general plastics. In general, thermal conductive products can be categorized into three kinds. Electrical insulative PA, electrical conductive PA, and electrical insulative PC. So, why should you choose thermal conductive polymer? Here come the advantages. First, it's 40% less heavy than metal. Second, it has a rapid production cycle. Third, it is more flexible in design if choosing thermal conductive polymer. Moreover, it has been recognized with UL94V0, UL945VA, ULRTI 140 degrees Celsius. It also complies with REACH, ROS, and has a reclaim rate of 30% and it is salt fog resistant, as well as electric insulative. Let's talk about how thermal conductive polymer can be applied on products in various industries, starting with electronic and netcom products. We use thermal conductive polymer as the material of electronic product heatsink. The cooling result is similar with that of aluminum alloy, but it reduced signal interference. Plus, it reduced 30% weight and 20% cost. In the experiment, we measure the housing temperature with a 6.5 watt heat source inside. The case temperature with TCP heatsink is only 3 degrees higher than the one with aluminum heatsink. It completely meets product specifications and provides weight and cost advantages. The property when facing RF is worth concern when speaking about electronic and netcom products. So, we place the antenna in different materials and observe its penetration ability in the 2.4G to 6G frequency band. The penetration result of electric insulative thermal conductive polymer is exactly the same as that of PC. Therefore, it will not interfere with any signal source. On the other hand, electric conductive TCP is absorptive for electromagnetic waves and can be utilized for blocking noise. Another example, wireless charger. From the thermal imager, we found that the heat from the PCB board can be effectively dispersed to the surface evenly by substituting ABS with thermal conductive polymer. Moreover, the casing temperature can be cooled down by 10 degrees, which improves charging efficiency and extends product life. We also conduct simulation analysis on a 150 watt adapter housing. The casing material is set to thermal conductive polymer. And the simulation analysis results 
show that thermal conductive polymer as the adapter housing can greatly reduce the temperature of internal components and also slightly abate the case temperature. By applying thermal conductive polymer, the advantages added include internal component temperature reduced by 7 degrees, ultrasonic welding applicable, 1 meter drop test passed, 1.3 meter 500 grams drop ball test passed. Now, Let's look at an example of applying TCP to a bus headlight. The LED temperature has to be lower than 108 degrees, under the condition of ambient temperature at 80 degrees, output power of 17 watts. This project has undergone an ERE R11201 test, high temperature aging test, high temperature LED temperature measurement, temperature and vibration combined test, thermal shock test and all passed. Compared to the full aluminum heatsink, the product with TCP partially applied heatsink has a similar cooling effect. Additionally, the weight is lighter by 30%. Product development is one of the technical services we provide. We assist customers in product selection, design adjustment, CNC proofing mold opening, and injection adjustment, which is a comprehensive product development process. As we introduced, our thermal conductive polymer has played an important role in various product applications. CM, automotive lights, heatsink, KF, LED lighting, wireless charging, CT, network equipment housing, adapter housing. We are Nitex Composites, Taiwan's leading brand of nylon composites. We have 10 business locations in North America and Asia two factories in Taiwan and Shanghai, an annual production capacity of 50,000 tons, and experience in compounding polymers for over 30 years. Please contact us if you are interested in our products or services. Thank you for watching.